Kayla Snyder is getting ready for an upcoming visit with her family. But less than a year ago, she couldn't even leave her apartment. Every three to six months, I seem to have a severe depressive episode. Antidepressants didn't help much, and over the next five years, Kayla got so desperate, she tried to kill herself three times. Then she started regular intravenous ketamine infusions at this New York City clinic, which connected us to Kayla. I didn't have suicidal thoughts every day, which I used to have, and I just felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulders. Traditional antidepressants work on neurotransmitters such as serotonin and norepinephrine that help nerves in the brain communicate. Ketamine targets a different one called glutamate and works much faster than drugs like Prozac, Cymbalta, or Zoloft. Its use for depression is much different than its recreational street use as Special K. What the individual is looking for when they take Special K is a feeling of highness. This is not a major issue when you take the lower doses that are needed to feel better from depression. The version of the drug approved by the FDA for use in a nasal spray will likely be covered by insurance, which does not reimburse for intravenous infusions. For Kayla, that $475 per infusion is reason enough to see if the spray works just as well. It really helps your entire life, not just, oh, let's get high for an hour and then go back to a depressing life. Now, I first reported on nasal spray ketamine six years ago when it was in a small clinical trial treating pediatric bipolar disorder. The children there got treated for and got remarkable results when nothing else had helped. Now, this ketamine will be for major depression when two other drugs have failed. And obviously, this is a highly purified, different dosage of ketamine than Special K and the club drugs that, that you see out there because you never really know exactly what you're getting there, mm -hmm. right?